Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Yankees. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start, as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. First pitch coming your way next. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound today, Derek Cole. What do we have on him? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Leading off the afternoon for San Francisco. The second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 405. Kicks and fires. Ball. Just missed. Garrett Cole, Chris, a guy who was the first overall pick out of UCLA in 2011 and he's turned into one of the best starters in baseball yeah it's pretty cool how things came full circle for him drafted by the Yankees out of high school didn't sign as you said went to UCLA and now pitching the number one guy in the rotation for New York got him and there's one down He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now it's J.D. Davis. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he married another UCLA player's sister, Brandon Crawford. He's married to Brandon's sister, Amy. And the 01. That one in there across the letters. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Two outs, space is empty. Jock Peterson, the next giant to hit. In there for strike one. Hard hit, right side. Third out, and that ends the frame. We head to the bottom of the first. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Back here at the ballpark. And on the mound in this one, Anthony DeSclafani. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot in the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And stepping in for the Yankees, Harrison Bader. Misses outside, ball one. Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to first. Out. One up, one down. Batting second. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Second in the AL in home runs. MVP, MVP. 
pitch no. misses there. 1 and 0. Oh. Singy DJ LeMayhew earned a pretty cool distinction when he won the American League batting title with the Yankees in 2020. He became the first player in the modern era to win a batting title in both leagues. Remember, he won with the Rockies the batting title in the National League in 2016. The 1 1. That to right. Hanniger has a beat on it. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting third. The right field. Here is Aaron Judge. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one, one. misses the zone, and now it's even one and one. Late with the swing there. One that ball. front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Two down, nobody on. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that drops foul. The one two. Got it by him for the K. Yanks held in check. We played an inning. No score. When I come out, they run out. I'll be working that stage to the sun out. Second inning set to go. And here is Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Hurt. Going one. And yeah, there's a the ball. One ball. Woody Keller one making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to Two call ball. strikes up One in that strike. part of the strike zone. And he deals. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. Not a bit. Here's Here's Brandon a Crawford. Brandon. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. That one the other way. Tosses to first. Out. Two up, two down. That is it. The center view number five. My Mike Yastrzemski up Red here. Mercy. There's a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field.
Bottom half of inning number two. And now here's the veteran DH, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton, who won the National League MVP in 2017, and then was traded immediately to the New York Yankees. Yeah, the last two players to win the MVP and then be traded were both traded to the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, Giancarlo Stanton. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Great effort. That's how bad he wanted that one. Head first dive. <laughs> Here's a one two. Next oh, offering is outside. Kristen, remember, John Carlos Stanton won the 2016 home run derby at Petco Park. Yeah, he made that place look like a wiffle ball field. Next pitch oh, misses God. inside, and that's ball three. Hey, Struck oh, him oh. out looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You no, know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Foul ball. Offering his foul back. Next ball. one misses, and that's ball one. one. It's one nothing. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Labor Torres up to hit. Line drive, base hit, right field. Now, well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Strike one. One strike. Popped up. Estrada makes the play, and there are two outs. Here's Jose Trevino. The catcher. And ball. the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Good eye ball. right there. Duo. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. 
batting nuts. Pretty much a Not model sure. swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Now at the plate, Anthony Volpe. Up the middle, and that squirts through. Torres coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He beats it safe. It's 2 nothing. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now Bader up to the plate. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And now it's D.J. Oh, LeMahieu digging in. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The 1-0. -oh. Just okay. off the outside part of the plate. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. In the air, left side. He's under it. Brings it in for the third out. The two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Yankees two, and the Giants nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, and here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. And a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Michael Conforto will climb in. Conforto, a former All-Star, 29 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Into center field, that'll fall for a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Batting on. The catch and two. now here is Blake Sable, looking for his first big league hit right here. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. No outs, runners at first and second. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Back to the top of the lineup and digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Struck out swinging his first time. That's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Wait at second, Conforto over at first with one away. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Hard on the ground to first. Rizzo over to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. A hit and an error in the inning, but they fail to score. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Yankees two and the Giants nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron. 
Di Sclafani back to work. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Swings through that. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And here comes an 0-2 to Judge. Battling here as he fouls it away. The why to kick the pitch. Judge rips that one. Peterson moving back. Still going back. And that ball is out of here. Aaron Judge leads the arc. His second of the year. It's 3-0. This guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. And yeah, now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Went down on strikes his first time through. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Yastrzemski right there to make the grab. One away. Now batting, first base. And here is Anthony Rizzo. He's already home in this game. Singy, one thing Anthony Rizzo's used to is getting plunked. No one has been hit by more pitches in Major League Baseball than Anthony Rizzo since he debuted. In the air, left field. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Throw, and it gets away. Yeah, he'll reach second with one away. Torres up to the plate, singled and scored his first time. And fouled off. Yeah, he's a tough guy, fearless up there at the dish, and he just holds his ground, does not give up on pitches in the inside part of the plate, and that's why he gets hit so much. The 0-1. It's softly on the ground to third. Davis rolls across the diamond. And Glaber Torres retired. No one Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Oh. And delivers outside. And the 1 0. And another oh. ball. Come on, big opportunity, guys. Here's a 2 1. Outside. Oh. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Just get the bases. That one ripped. That's back there. And that ball is gone. He'll touch them all. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. 
Base is empty with two away. Jose Trevino getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Trevino will handle the catching duties in this one in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. Now the 01. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in the Bronx as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's J.D. Davis. The wind of the pitch. And he takes a strike all these Giants as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate they're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs can they turn that around and stay within the zone we'll see but I think they have to now fly ball to right center makes the grab one down now bad the left field and now Jack Peterson grounded out his first time up. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now batting the right field. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Smash to the left side. Volpe throws it to first in time. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Third out. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Anthony Volpe. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. Here's the 0-2. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I got to expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. Next no, one just the misses. The count now two and two. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Crawford throws the first in time. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. So up next, Harrison Bader, one for two. Hard hit, left side. Fires over to first. And Bader is set down. Now, now batting, third base, DJ Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. And first offering is fouled off. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. The 
A swing and a soft liner. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Yankees five and the Giants nothing. New inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Brandon. You know, Chris, Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011 at Milwaukee, and he hit a grand slam in his big league debut. No, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field that just has a nice swing path. Stays in the zone a long time. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. One down, base is empty. And that one is inside. And a one two and down on strikes that's out number two committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time you know, once you get it going it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel good pitch had him fooled Wade stands in now and watches strike one He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Yep. Next offering is in for a strike. Look at Sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. And a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Giants down in order. It's 5-0. Jacob Junis on to pitch here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. It's Aaron Judge now. He's already homered here in this one. pitch that one is absolutely belted and it's gone that one felt good and they add a run it's six nothing to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side is a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset now here's Giancarlo Stanton in there for strike one you know, these Yankees, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. And here it comes. Hit hard. That gets through. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Bet at first. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. 
Ball one, one, no strikes. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Here's a 1 1. In the air out towards right center. Hanniger has a beat on it. And it's caught for the out. Now back, second base. base. Here's Glaber Torres. Ground ball left side could be two. Oh, the throw is wild. And the throw's offline, safe at third. Now got left side. Two on with one out. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. In the air, left field as his second hit of the day. In to score is the runner from third, and they're pulling away up by seven. He's in there. Well done, drives in the run. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So digging in, Jose Trevino. They say it went. One. Hit weakly on the ground. Davis with the throw to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. So they turn things over to the righty. Ross Stripling. He's making his second appearance of the season. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. That misses. No, that's a ball. And that is ball one. One ball, no strike. Man at second. That's towards center. And that'll do it. Three runs on three hits, one a solo shot. Five innings complete. It's the Yankees eight and the Giants nothing. All set for the top of the six. And now, Michael Conforto. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't. matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has what kind of velocity what kind of secondary stuff he is so settled in there he owns the home plate area all these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game chasing pitches has been a big part of the story we've seen it quite a bit today it's been tough for him to make contact at times and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group the wind and the pitch 
Got him looking. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Blake Sable. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Next offering is in for a strike. Fouled off to the right. Righty delivers. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So the lineup flips over. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. On the ground to third. To first. Out number three. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees eight and the Giants nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Harrison Bader. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And a pitch. And that's outside. Bader in his sixth oh no. season, 28 years old. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Rogers up and throwing. Swing and a miss. One, one. And that is strike one. The pitch. Strike two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew measures six feet, four inches, 220 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2009. Sends it to first, two up, two down. Now that the right field, Aaron. Judge. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Out to short. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Gets down, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to throw the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Next to hit, Anthony Rizzo. And that one is lifted in the air. Haniger makes the grab, and that's the inning. Yank strand a pair as the lead holds at eight to nothing.
we go to the top of the seventh digging in J.D. Davis number seven J.J. and he deals and that one just misses a ball and no strikes swung on belted and out of here J.D. Davis leaves the yard. His first homer of the year, it's 8-1. No, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. We knew it was going to be close, and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. And Jack Peterson stands in. The pitch. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Jack Peterson bops one out. His first homer of the year, and they slice into the lead. It's 8-2. Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So now it's the four hole hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Slider clips the zone. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see. A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. Just could not get in sync and even guess right. When you talk about guessing in the game, it's really anticipation and sort of going with what the highest probability pitch, velocity, location at that point of the at-bat is. And yeah, the righty deals. Pitch misses. It's two and two. Next offering is fouled back. Two two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the right hander deals. Got him swinging. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. There's Crawford now, open stance on that left side. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. And there's two down. The center fielder, number five. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground. LeMahieu gets it to first. 
and the inning is over. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now 8-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, set for the last half of the seventh. Here comes Glaber Torres. Stripling back to work. That's Slider misses outside. One ball, no strike. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gathers and throws on the money. Nice play. Man, oh man, that ball was absolutely smoked. Triple digit exit velocity. He dives. And I'm just shocked that the ball stayed this bit. Looked like he was going to put a hole in his glove. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch One, way upstairs. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. 1 and 2 now. And Ball. that's down it away. Ball. 2 2 now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Just a weak fly ball this time. Peterson makes the grab. And there's two down. Oh, 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 oh. The catch -up. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. And first offering is fouled off. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. On to first, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Yankees. They lead it 8 2. We go to the eighth, and now Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Wandy Peralta. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Makes the catch for the out. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Michael Conforto. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Swing and a miss. Oh, one. Strike one. Just oh, missed. No. Ball on a strike. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Wait. 
Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and fires. High fly ball, right field. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. Now bad. Catch it. Blake Sable now at the plate. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. Left field. Cabrera makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Giants go down quietly, and it's still 8 2. Back now in the Bronx, bottom of the eighth. The batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And the pitch. And one ball up. one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Next pitch is outside. Who owes the count? That's the third. Davis with the throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got the hitter to roll over. So up next, Harrison Bader. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out, because the sky's the limit on that potential. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. The and back. there's two down. The third base. DJ. DJ LeMahieu stepping in now for the Yankees. Ah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. And a swing and a miss oh, there. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. The 0 2. That's a hit. And that keeps the inning going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting oh practice God. today. Number so right impressed now. with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. So a man aboard, Aaron Judge at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Bounce to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So that's two straight two-out hits. Not in time. He's safe. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. So they're at the corners now. Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Good eye oh, right there. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And no one can get to it, it's a foul ball. Oh. 
The 1-1. One, one. In the air on the infield. Wade makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here in New York, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Peralta back to work. And that is cut on and missed. And that's strike one. Peralta, the lefty who lights up the radar gun, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. And up next for the Giants, J.D. Davis. Flips the corner. That's strike one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Lottie, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Next offering is in for a strike. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Judge has it sized up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. The left lefty, number 23, John. Here's Jack Peterson. And a foul ball. Estrada, the base runner at first with one out. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Yeah, yeah, Broke yeah. hard right out of the right zone, right. and he just couldn't yeah, hold yeah. up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Hanniger in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. 0-2 as he waves at that one. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. That one drifts inside. He wanted that fastball high and tight. Looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us.